So this is the uh, NVR out of its box. Let's go ahead and show you the front. So there's a USB there at the front for the mouse, or you can run it from the back. The TXRX, the status and the power lights. And then the brand of the box there is Hikvision. Let's see if it will just... It's a bit strong, the light size this high up. So that's what it looks like. It's a grey finish, grey metal finish. So let's go ahead and show you the back. So that's the power on there, just there, that's the power on button, on and off, see if it'll focus a minute, 48 volts bullet connector there, there's a LAN connector there so you can connect it to your router and actually see it when you're not at home, a live feed so long as your router's on, then the HDMI port, then your VGA if you've got an old VGA monitor for your CCTV, and then your audio in and out there. And this one I chose only four ports because if one breaks I'm only using one camera I can move it to another one and then another and then another at least I get and the processing power should be good enough for four cameras so it should work well with one good camera. Those holes at the top are just for the screws to hold the, the lid on. What I'll do is I'll show you the bottom now. So these four holes here, one, two, three, four, around the hard drive sits in the box inside. This I bought this without a hard drive, so you have to supply your own. So it's a Hikvision Network video recorder. Let's go as close as I can for that. The serial number 73763811. 48 volts, 1 amp, 45 watt max. So that's that. Let's go ahead and take the cover off. Just bear with me. So there's not a lot inside these. If you've never looked inside one, this is your first look. So there's a fan there on the right hand side. If you can see that, a little 12 volt fan, like a computer fan, to keep the hard drive nice and cool. Then it's like a little computer, really. There's a, there's a battery there, if you can see that. Let it focus and all that's the whole processing motherboard basically and then your connectors for your SATA hard driver there for the power and that's for the data and then inside of the four holes that you would fit your hard drive in that cable has to stay underneath the hard drive and that's why they're raised to stop crushing it so let's go ahead and show you my hard drive so what I did was free up one from my old Sky box when I left Sky. So this is from an Amstrad DRX890 and it's a SATA drive and it's 500 gigs. I don't know if you can see that there. Let's let it focus. 500 gigabytes just there. It's a Seagate one and it's specially designed to to record video because it was in a Sky box. So it came to me, pardon me, for free. So what, what will happen is it will fit in like that into the box and then you screw it in with these screws that are provided in the box. This is a UK spec one. Let's just move that out of the way. Move the hard drive out of the way and the box. Just bear with me. So I'll show you what else came in the box. The first thing was a, a mouse, an optical mouse with a click wheel. So that's to access all the menu system and set your cameras up and access all the pre-recorded video. So that's a nice little touch. They're not expensive. If yours doesn't come with one, you can get them from the pound shop for a pound. It's not the end of the world. So this is the power brick. Because it needs 48 volts, it needs quite a lot of power. It needs a power brick. Let's go ahead and show you a close-up of the information on the power brick. This is a genuine power brick supplied by the manufacturer. So it might not say Hikvision on, but that's what it was who supplied it so that just a bit of cable with a ballast on it and then the the jack that just fits in the back of your box and that just goes as you can see there's an on light there and then there's a three pin connector on that side and that's it just that information let's give you another close up of that switching power adapter so it needs 48 volts and that's why they need a power brick so it, it runs to a kettle lead as we call it in the UK and a three pin 
UK plug on that end. This is brand new in the box, I haven't plugged it in yet, so I don't know, I haven't done anything with it other than do this video. So it's also supplied with a Ethernet cable. It's probably only three meters, two and a half meters, something like that, but it is a Cat 5e. You can get them from the pound shop, but they're not Cat 5e, so it's nice to have a a good quality cable for the camera. So let's go ahead and show you the SATA connector cable. So that's the data cable, which is a nice little one. It looks like it's got a locking device to stop it undoing, which is nice to lock it into the motherboard. And this is the power cable then for the SATA drive. Just the standard one, like an external hard drive. Then you get a CD-ROM, Vision one with a brand branding and part number on it. I think that's to set up the cameras because they have so many different ones. And then this is the instructions that came with it. So that's just a warning. There's not a lot of information on this book. These books are designed for all over Europe, so they're all in different languages. So if you want to pause it and read it, you can do. It'll be all the legal disclaimers, most of it, I would have thought. So installing the hard disk drive. I don't know whether that relates to this box or not. If you want to pause it at any time, you can do. They don't give you a lot of information. I think it's quite a straightforward thing. I'm sure other people have done YouTube videos of how to connect all these up if you're struggling. Technical support. And then we're moving to German there, so... Let's go ahead and show you the what I think my model is on the second because they this one covers lots and lots of different models. So I think mine is the bottom one there with the four ports to tell you what everything is. Let's go ahead and give you a close up of that. See if it'll focus. So that looks as close as it could be to the real to the one I've got. I can't find the exact model number. So NVR installation, hard disk installation, DS9600NI, I don't know if that's mine, I don't think it is, but I'll show you it anyway. Other models, which I think will apply to mine. It's just as simple as, uh, I would be aware that I would, if you're not sure about static issues with handling computer equipment, I would uh, just do your research before you start hacking away inside these because you can damage the inside with static. You might have to earth yourself or something like that, but make sure you check before. I don't want you to fry your box. So what I did was bought this camera as well from the same guy. So he was kind enough when I asked him after I bought these, after he gave me the advice, because I knew nothing about these cameras until I, until I bought these this box and the camera he said he's more than happy if you want to contact him he's a UK seller on eBay and if you need any advice of what you need to buy because I bought this one for the wide angle capability of it so it's a 2.8 mil lens this camera and that'll give you about 98 degrees wide field of view and it, what it is is it's also a night camera as well so it turns night into a color image and it gives you the best possible quality image you can it's a 3 megapixel camera and it'll give you the best quality image you can possibly get at night because it's a new brand called Dark Fighter. So it's not branded on it, it's so new. It's one of the first ones in the country, this one. So it has a gimbal on the back so you can adjust how you want to set it. So that just locks off and it fits. The cable fits nicely through a cutout in the side there, as you can see. So it doesn't cut the cable. There's a a cable coming out of it and what it does is it goes to the Ethernet cable there and what that is is that's how it gets its power if you want to run it PoE which is power over Ethernet. So you connect this cable to the back of your box, click it in like a normal computer cable which is that that's exactly what it is, an Ethernet cable. So you click it in and that's it, it's getting its power from that cable from the box. And what that one is, is that's the old design that needed a separate power adapter to power the camera 
So that's the old analog design and this is the new power over ethernet design which means you can now get bigger better quality cameras. So it's a nice little camera that, I really like it and as you'll see in the front the, the LEDs, the night vision LEDs are actually covered so you can't see them when you switch them. They, you can still see them but you can't see them as much as normal cameras. So like I said if you want any advice on stuff then this guy knows what he's talking about. Um, he's not been on eBay for long only having 801 feedback but I felt completely comfortable buying from him. He does say it's a Hikvision 4K box NVR so it's first 4K UHD NVR and it's a four channel one. He's a UK UK seller. It's not a grey import and that's the issue with some of these that they are you can get ones for 50 60 quid but they're coming in from China might not have UK language on and they could well be fake. So He's, guaranteed, he's guaranteed that these are genuine because he only sells Hikvision stuff. So he's VAT registered. It's a new 4K model. There's a three-year warranty in this fast PMP. So the the title is Hikvision 4 Channel Ultra HD 4K UHD Network MVR 8 megapixel maximum with four power over the Ethernet four channel CCTV recorder. So the the eBay user is JT JT Wholesaler and like I said he's in the UK and it says down there Dundee United Kingdom so what I did was I went on to Hikvision's website and got some better information about this box so I could give you the information so this is it so third-party network camera supported up to 8 megapixel resolution recording support one channel HDMI and one channel VGA HDMI at up to 4k resolution so I've just purchased myself a an LG OLED TV, 4K OLED TV, and I'm going to connect it to that. So four channel network camera to be connected with 40M incoming bandwidth. Support dual OS to ensure high reliability system. Plug and play with up to four independent PoE network interfaces. Support various VCA detection alarms and VCA support search. And it supports those compressions, video format compressions. So this is the specification of that model which I've just bought which is DS7604NI-K1 forward slash 4P. So if you want to pause this video and, and just double check the, the specs instead of me going through it. I'm sorry if I miss anything but uh, it's just this video is getting a little bit long now. So what I'm also going to do while I scroll through this is I can tell you that I'm going to go and make a separate video of all the what these shorthand terms mean because they're it's all gobbledygook to me it was when I started so I thought right let's put it all as a standalone CCTV video on YouTube and then people can work out what they actually need instead of just going and asking a buyer and they can't really help so this is the camera I bought just to give you a little bit more information so as you can see there it's a brand new one it's a 3 megapixel and it's called a dark fighter with that H265 plus compression so it's a Hick Vision and that's the model number Dark Fighter Ultra Low Light IP Network CCTV camera power over the Ethernet and yet again you see that's a three year warranty UK stock and as he says there not a grey import I really like the way he does his listings that he says any issues let me know and we'll sort it out he doesn't have a lot of feedback that's the username JT Wholesaler but uh, I'm really happy with the way I was treated with my purchase. Don't get me wrong, they're not cheap, but at least you get the right advice and don't buy the wrong one. As my camera is a 2.8mm lens, if you buy the wrong lens, you'll find that you'll only see one doorway across the street if you're not careful. If you buy the wrong one, that's why I went for 2.8mm lens. If you go for a 16mm lens, you're going to find out that uh, it will only at 40 foot you'll only see a doorway whereas the 2.8mm lens will show a whole house and a half maybe so this is the bullet camera like I said that's the model number there 3 megapixel ultra low light network bullet camera so I do have a video of this camera if you want to go and look at my uh, other videos so these are the key features I won't go through them I'll just show you them if you want to pause the video you can do 
I did see another camera but it was absolutely massive it was 12 inches long and this is quite a tiny camera so this is why I chose this one it's got everything crammed into such a small space so this is the image sensor information specification let's see if I can get really close so it will so that's the important thing there. It says the lens is available on this camera 2.8, 4mm, 6mm, 8mm and 12mm. As you can see there it tells you the field of view. So 98, 77.7, 48, 37 and 23. So lens mount. Lots of information there. Like I said I'll be doing a standalone video and going through as much information as I can about what all this means. If you're not sure then I highly advise you look at that before you decide what camera and box you want to buy because if you're new to this like me it was you know I had 50 or 60 questions to ask this guy and he was happy enough to help me but it's better going to him with a, a basic grounding of what what information you, you need to know and then you can say I want this this and this I want it to do this give me some advice of what camera to buy and what box to buy because the Overall, I don't think it's a lot of money for what I've actually bought. Let's go ahead and show you a close-up. So, here we go. And that's the fitting dimensions there. So it's actually 10 inches, 6.1 inches, 155 mil long. Mount to the front of the camera from the back. So that's quite a small camera and that's why I wanted it so it wasn't so obvious where it was. So um, thanks for sticking with me guys. Um, like I said I will be doing a video soon and that will be going through all the details of what NVR mean, what DVR mean, what everything else can, that's, the, 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 they put loads of these short terms on everything to do with CCTV expecting you to know what it's talking about and if you don't it gets incredibly confusing because you don't know what you're supposed to buy. So like I said, I'll link in the description below to the videos, the other videos in this uh, combination of stuff I've done videos of. And I'll link to the guy I bought from as well so you can contact him if you have any problems. So that's it guys, so thanks for watching and check back soon. Cheers!